What's up guys? Welcome back to another video on the Garage 533 channel. And uh, we're back at it. I'm back in the shop. I've been doing some organizing, and some cleaning around here, and uh, some improvements and just little things out here at the shop while I'm not busy. Um, I figured while I had some time off, I'd clean up the shop, do a couple little things I've been meaning to do, throw out some stuff and get some stuff cleaned up. So uh, I just want to show you a little bit of kind of what I've been doing where I'm at. So I've had these things laying around for quite a while. Um, I bought them when I first moved in and got like this stuff from Ikea. I took a big Ikea run um, and I bought these as part of it. They didn't have all the colors I wanted so they were just like pegboard color, you know, wood color. Um, so I knew I would want to paint them and they just got thrown on the back burner but finally got around to painting them and hanging them. Um, they're pretty cool. They got a bunch of little attachments. Uh, to throw things up like these little straps a bunch of different kinds of hooks uh, trays and little um, Containers for stuff and it was nice I was able to get some stuff off of the tables my desk and just around the office um, And get it all thrown up there plus it just fills this out. I was saving this spot for these um, So it just looked kind of blank, but now you know, there's something on all the walls obviously I don't have much up there right now, I need to fill them out a little bit more, but super nice, keeps the office a little more organized, looks a little better since I left that spot for them and just, just uses them since I had them, so um, got those hung. I also had one more, so I did it out here. Uh, I was also kind of saving this space for one, so I just used it for parts basically. Um, I'm going through all my old parts at home and out here and just stuff I haven't used and figured I might as well try to sell some of it. So some of these things, you know, I'll use for cars and projects, um, but other things I really don't have a use for. I bought these for my personal car, don't have a use for them. Yeah, just got some parts hung up for sale if anybody wants them or more or less just for decoration out here. So. It looks cool. Um, I'm not mad at it. Like I said, those are all just sitting over here on this shelf. So I'm trying to free up this shelf and actually use it more for parts, uh, parts storage for more commonly used stuff. So I can store oil, brake pads, oil filters, that kind of stuff over on this shelf instead of just all my own personal parts and like parts that I want to sell and. Um, that I just won't use anytime soon at least. So that's what I'm working on, trying to get this shelf cleaned up um, before all that stuff was like on the bottom too. So it's coming along. I literally just pulled what I wanted to off of those and I haven't organized it at all, but. The shelf that was under here has just been raw plywood for the longest. Um, I sanded it down smooth, all the edges were pretty rough. So I sanded it down smooth. It wasn't mounted or anything. It was just laying in there. So once I paint it, put it back on, I'll actually screw it down this time. I got leftover paint from when I did these. So it's going to match, same color. Um, I might even touch up some of the bench while I have this out. But yeah, get that painted, slap it back on. I'm going to try to organize that shelf and get some more stuff underneath there and uh, just clean it up a little bit, make it look better. I chopped up some of my scrap and exhaust got it in a box. I don't remember if I showed you that in the last clip. So scrap is ready to go. I'm gonna try to get that out soon. Um, been hanging some hooks and stuff. Uh, just been trying to clean up the shelf a little bit. But uh, there's the shelf painted. At least now it blends in, doesn't look out of place as far as like plywood and rough cuts and uh, it not bolted down or anything like that. And then hopefully everything that goes under there will kind of hide since it's all black too. And this is, uh, in case I forget, this is the vise now. I'd hate to buy a new one just because it's like, this works, it holds stuff. It's a little crooked and messed up and a little bent and whatnot, but um, my brother had this at my mom's garage for the longest and I figure, why not just slap a coat of paint on it and keep using it? It's just a vice, just to hold stuff. So 
The only thing I don't like about it is the orange, so throw a coat of paint on it, mount it up somewhere, and it'll look good. I still need to mount this thing too, so just trying to make some headway on using what's out here instead of just storing it and uh, if I have a problem with something, how it looks or how it works or whatever, just figure it out, get it done so that it's usable and ready to go instead of just procrastinating on like, where do I want to put that and then it just sits up here forever, not mounted, not being used or, oh, that's orange. I don't like the way it looks, you know, get it painted, get it mounted so I can use it. Um, so yeah, just trying to finish a couple of little projects I've put off since I got in here, like the pegboards. I built these workbenches and that was the last thing I needed to do and <laughs> I procrastinated painting it and finishing it and doing anything with it. So yeah, just trying to make this place as uh, organized and usable as possible I guess so I'll check back in with you guys once I get that painted got the vise all apart it's actually pretty easy pretty easy to take apart I wasn't gonna but you literally just pop a little C clip off that comes out um, the one adjustment on the other side I just ended up cutting and taking out because it is actually welded to not spin so this adjustment here was useless so I just chopped off the end of the pin that goes through it like this one just chopped it off took that out unscrewed it now I'm just gonna hit it with the grinder get it cleaned up because I was gonna just hand sand it but it'll look better with the grinder and take forever if I try to hand sand it um, here's how the vise turned out I got this like all lubricated, ready to go. I uh, just got to pull the tape off and this thing will be good to go. I like sanded down the little thing on the side just to try to make it look halfway decent. Oh, I just grabbed that. Forgot I had that lubed. Um, yeah, it looks good. But yeah, I got, you know, that top one organized, that one pretty well organized, electrical stuff and then just extra parts went through and marked some of those because I didn't know what they were really for. Um, Got to do something with the fans. Alright, we're going to pull the tape on this bad boy. I wanted to do it on camera. Try to make this video a little bit satisfying and enjoyable to watch. So this would be the spot, you know, where you want to pound on some things when you're in using the vise. But yeah, I figured it would make the vise look a little cooler and you know, there's really no reason to have this painted, so do it like that. I even like sanded it really nice and smooth and flat too, so Looks like a vice again. Not too shabby. I guess I'll peel this one off and uh, put it all back together and just show you guys once it's done. It's hard to do one handed. Alrighty, and there we have it. The vice is all put back together. I wish I would have known that this showed. I thought it didn't, but oh well. I guess when it's closed up it won't show quite as bad, but thing works so smooth now. Just since it's greased and whatnot, about dropped it in the ground. I'll screw that back in. But now that it's all greased and everything, it works pretty well. So for an old ass vice, I know this thing's at least It was in my mom's garage probably since I was 14. Yeah, we'll call it 20. I would, I would put this thing at at least 20 years old. So, 20 year old vice, sanded down, stripped down, repainted, kind of resurfaced the edges that matter, made it look 10 times better. I know it's stupid, but I kind of enjoyed it. Um, 
I kind of like refinishing tools, I'm not going to lie, especially older ones, like with a little story and whatnot. It's kind of cool to do. Um, I, you know, not a lot of people probably understand it, but to me, I think it's pretty cool. So, yeah, you know, it'll probably be mounted over there. And uh, just like that, it'll sit on the end of the table and it'll look 10 times better than what it did. That orange beat up look, you know. Ohio's first big storm, I guess. Are you excited? You like the snow? You like the snow, Wes? Where's your ball? You don't even know. You'll just run around in circles, huh? What? Why you gotta go in the deepest part? You gotta pee in the deepest part. We definitely got some snow. Not a whole lot, but enough. Enough for the dog to play in. Enough for me to have to shovel, huh, Wes? Like this little drift's pretty tall. Pretty tall little drift there. But actual snow, we finally got three or four inches, maybe. Oh, you got your ball. You lost your ball. Where is it, Wes? Get it! You literally found the deepest part of snow to throw your ball in so you can dig through it. Look at you. You're digging a whole hole. Get it, Wes. What you got? Don't put it in that deep hole. Oh, okay. Yeah, I took down some banners, gonna rearrange those. Got some more of these foam sound pad things. Um, hung a few of those, gonna hang some more of those. Um, I did start cutting my own decals, so uh, we are gonna have you know, special colored ones for wraps when they get done. I'm also just gonna keep a handful of them around uh, to sell and whatnot, so here's a few that I've gotten so far. Uh, I just did a bunch of these, I think they're like 11 inch ones, some 6 inch ones in the blue in this font, and then I'm playing around with this font as well, uh, just the 533, little 6 inch ones. Um, I got a few in my old wrap color, uh, so the color shift. The second one is in a different font and it's in my wrap, my old wrap color, the color changing like 3M color. Um, so I've got a bunch. I've got a bunch of scraps basically uh, and just vinyl that I keep around from old projects and stuff. Some blues, a lot of blue, a lot of black, red, white, um, and then my old color shift color uh, that I'm going to be making some decals and stuff out of. Um, I'm also going to start making some clothes. This beanie is one of them I made. I wanted to try out, wash it a bunch of times, see if it holds up, and it's actually held up pretty good. Um, but I'll get into that more in another video. And then today as well, the reason I pulled out my phone is I wanted to show you guys the new front door uh, decal that I made up. 
because before it was just a little like six inch decal that just said at garage 533. So now it will actually be a little more official um, with an actual logo. And then I'll probably go home and at some point print up the business hours, my phone number. There's a few other things I wanted to say like right on the front door. So this is a uh, 3M black and it's got like a silver flake in it. Um, it's actually the same color I wrapped my desk in, so that's where I got it from, and uh, I really like this film. It's held up really well on my desk. Um, it looks super good. It's held up really well. It just looks black when you're not like paying attention to it or when there's not like direct light on it, and then it just gives it a little extra to have that silver flake in there. So that's what these decals are cut out of for the door. Um, that's all I have left of this wrap so I just figured like you know I did my desk with it that's that was my main objective with buying that sheet and then um, I figured I would do all the door decals in the same black and then that's pretty much it for what I have left of it all right I think I got it about where I want it I want to film it it's a little satisfying to do this so try to film it and get it right too at the same time but yeah using the right stuff makes it a lot easier this 3m vinyl with this uh shit blue tape man transfer tape i think is what it's called the glue tape something like that it's on amazon it's one of the more popular brands blue something um, blue tape man I think is what it is or something like that but yeah I tried like the cricket vinyls and stuff and like they're all right but um, I definitely like this a little bit more and this stuff I already know should peel off and leave no residue and look a whole hell of a lot better as long as it comes off that's all I really care about the last stuff wouldn't even come off They do it good, we do it best. That's uh, just a slogan I thought of. It seemed fitting. <laughs> but yeah, what I'm going to do is cut this transfer tape. It should make it easier to peel. Oh yeah, this transfer tape works so much better than the other shit I was using. I could probably just do it all in one piece and it'd be fine, but just to play it safe. Since I only got one hand, this is working pretty good. But yeah, I am like slightly new to this, so my decals and stuff are going to, you know, they've been coming out like really good, obviously, but I'm still pretty new to this, um, so there's like a learning curve for sure, but I want to start to offer some decal services as well um, for companies like me, like when I wanted this garage 533 stuff and like those signs made or the vinyl for those signs made I used um, an outside source I used somebody I met through like the car shows and stuff um, and what I have spent on those big decals that you see and like those two signs that I made and then 
the little six inch stickers that I had for a little while um, that went on a lot of people's cars. What I have spent in those and then my three signs that are outside. I could have easily bought the machine to do this myself and a lot of the equipment and materials and everything like that. So I just figured I might as well stop using other people and just invest. And then, yeah, I'm pretty well set up to go. So if somebody wants like easy decals to make, just like mine were, like the little At Garage 533 little six inch ones that I had, if somebody wants, you know, a batch of those, I can offer you know, to do a hundred of them or 50 of them, you know, uh, for somebody else and just kind of offer some, some decal business, you know, some vinyl work if people need it. Um, and then I can also do custom ones for wraps and uh, projects and jobs around here and like do my own door stuff, my own door logos and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing a lot more vinyl work basically. Being able to do this myself should be pretty huge. Um, I can think of so many things I need it for. So, like I said, the iron-on stuff is cool, but I'm gonna try to do infusible ink for the clothes, come up with some really cool designs for that, and uh, just add it to my arsenal, basically. Be able to do decals, clothing, stuff like that for other people, and for myself, it should it should work pretty well, so yeah, I'm stoked on this. But yeah, the office is kind of coming around too. I got these up a little while ago, starting to get some stuff on them, starting to get things a little more reorganized in here. Um, I pulled out the mini fridge because I had I have two mini fridges. Definitely didn't need the one in my office anymore. Um, I was using the white one out here, and I was never using that one, so it was just taking up that spot. So I decided to get it out of here. And um, I don't know if this is how I'm gonna like leave my desk or whatever. I don't even think that it's gonna be like a desk anymore. Um, I don't really sit in here and do much. So I think I'm just gonna kind of leave from the coffee bar over free to do merch basically. I also moved out my little thing that was sitting over here. Um, and I might just get rid of that in the chair and just make this and the TV and just make this more just for merch. Just do a couple t-shirts designs, a couple beanies and hoodie de designs, and then have some room to uh, actually stack them up and sell them out of here basically. So, And then this is just kind of supposed to be a waiting room, hangout area, you know, but it just doesn't get used that much. So I figured... I'll leave this side for that and then just kind of turn this side into uh, merch basically. Um, and just kind of relocate this stuff in the chair, uh, clean off the desk, get rid of the filing thing and just do like an actual um, shelving unit here for t-shirts and stuff. I have some ideas to put them on the walls. Obviously, that's like way down the road. I still need to order like a bulk shipment of shirts and stuff like that. All right, we got some banners moved around. Got one side of the shop decorated a little better. And then in here, I took down the Milwaukee one. And I'm going to do my own stuff on this wall. Plus, I had this big decal left over. This was the last big one I had from when I did them in the rest of the shop. So, um... I went ahead and threw this up and then I'll go home and print my own up. I think I'm gonna do something below it. Um, maybe like establish 2021, something like that, just to honor when we you know, went into business or whatever. And then I might do like some you know, auto repair, detailing, vinyl, whatever. You know, just some of those to fill it in a little bit along there. But I did start carrying the Hot Wheels around. Um, since there is this seam in the drywall here, I figured the Hot Wheels will look good there since they run right across that anyway. So, you know, some uh, custom decals down below the Big Garage 533. Fill this in with my Hot Wheel addiction. I have plenty. And then, yeah, I think that wall will look pretty good. 
kind of rearranging some banners. I got a few new ones, a couple of Oaks Garage ones, um, and then I got a bunch more of these foam tiles. So we're gonna do more like that around the front side of the walls. Um, I already did that spot there um, with just the five extras that you end up with. And then I kind of cleaned up the wall area here, kind of painted this center part black, and I'm trying to like blend the two um, before I hang the banners back up. I got a few of the banners up over here. Uh, these two are new. And then the Milwaukee one is from the inside of the office. But yeah, I think this looks a lot better than how I had it before. I had more on it, but they were kind of rearranged in a weird way. So I think this looks cool. Shout out to Jimmy Oaks. I might do a little bit more, but at least that gets a couple up there. Um, we got these two on the side. And then for along here, I just tried to fill it in basically. Got some sound deadening up, rearranged the banners in a way. I like the good guys one. Like if you're local in Ohio, you know what the good guys car show is. Um, I think it's dope. It also says welcome. It's like from one of their shows. So yeah, this wall is basically filled in. Over here, I kind of left it blank. I have a bigger design for garage 533 to go on this wall. For right now, it looks cool. It's cool enough at least. I uh, got the flag over here. So threw up the, you know, last couple pieces of sound deadening I had just around that one just to fill in that location a little bit. But yeah, slowly but surely our uh, wall space and the space up there is getting filled in. That was my goal was just to fill up a lot of this dead space. Um, some of the banners are hiding some little spots in the wall that are a little ugly. There's a little spot behind that. And put the Honda valve cover over there. I want to get some more valve covers. If anybody has some cool motors, some K series, some B series, um, Honda type motors, or even some Toyotas, um, I'd be interested in some cool valve covers if anybody wanted to give them to me for next to nothing or cheap I'm obviously not gonna buy a bunch of them but yeah just spent the last like I just spent my free time here lately trying to get stuff filled in get the shop a little more cleaned up set up so I got some big plans for some big decals and stuff like that I might order a little bit more sound deadening I just like how it looks the checkered design because I'd like to fill in, you know, maybe a few more over here. I might do like one or two more rows up there. When I get my big decals up, I might do some. So another pack should probably do it because then I'd like to go kind of across the top um, as well. Maybe even throw some on this wall. But yeah, I just want the garage doors to be replaced so that this is all white, new, fresh. And I can kind of maybe do some sound deadening across the top maybe hang some banners or do some sound deadening on the doors and just kind of like start filling this in. Okay, so probably the last clip I'm gonna include in this video, I've been making this over the span of like, I don't know, probably a month or two. Um, I just keep doing things around the shop and then I haven't gotten the video out, so I just keep adding little parts to it. Uh, it's kind of why it's taken me two, three weeks to get this video out, but I wanna stay in order as far as like the dates go. I don't wanna put out a video onto the channel that was filmed yesterday when my last video that I posted was filmed like around the beginning of the year. So I have videos saved up. They're not current. Uh, they're about a month or two behind. So if stuff doesn't make sense or if stuff looks different or whatever, if you notice little things, if there's snow outside and currently there isn't any right now, but if you see it in the video, that just means I filmed this, uh, you know, this parts of these videos that are going to be coming out for the next month or so are all backed up. They're all, I'm, I'm behind on all of them, so I'm just trying to get them out, stay, stay with the timeline as projects got done, and then um, put them out in order until I eventually catch up to right now, like actual current videos. So, um, like I said, the last clip that's going to go in here, I've been working on the floor a little bit. I bought this self-leveling 
Loctite sealant stuff to fill these cracks in the floor and uh, Today I didn't have anything going on. It was actually pretty warm outside So I just kind of went for it. Yeah, I bought this self-leveling sealant from Loctite It's uh, pretty good stuff. I wanted to try it out. I bought two of them and I got this crack most of the way filled up until just about the end and then um, this little spot around the lift that kind of cracked when I drilled that hole and then another big hole over here in this crack that had just been getting eaten up by power. The power washer just kept spraying crap out of it and it just kept getting deeper and deeper so that one was pretty thick and filled in. So eventually I'd like to do something with these floors. I'd like to epoxy them if I can. Uh, if not, just like paint them or seal them or do something with them in the future. So this is kind of just the first step in that is to get the holes filled. And I figured until I get to the epoxy or the paint or whatever that makes it look aesthetically nice, at least having these cracks filled will make it nicer for when I wash cars. I can squeegee out the floor and there's not water staying in all these little cracks and spots and everything. Now, once all this is done, other than like etching the floor and cleaning it a little bit, maybe um, really taking up some of the old sealant and paint that's still there, the floors will basically be ready to go. Um, maybe, you know, six months from now or so in the summertime, maybe I'll come through and try to paint or epoxy them, etch it, paint, epoxy, seal it, clear it, whatever, and just make them look really nice. But for now, this is just a good thing to do um, in the meantime to kind of prepare for that and like I said it'll be nice when I squeegee out the floors there won't be water trapped in all these spots so this was the other main reason why I'm doing it the owner of this place the guy I rent from had filled the drain in the floor here because it just went down to the dirt it didn't like actually drain out anywhere it was just a hole in the concrete that water could go down in and he didn't like that idea since I'd be doing so much washing in here it would be really great to have a drain in the floor somewhere, but I'm not really worried about it. I don't mind squeegeeing. When I get this wet, water just pools inside of here and sits. And when you go to try to squeegee it, it just kind of fucks up your squeegee and doesn't really work. So I end up blowing it with a leaf blower to try to blow all the water out. Um, plus all this cracks and divots in the floor holds it, holds water and it just stays wet forever. Um, there's lots of little pits and spots in this floor that just, it just holds water forever. And then down there, it's actually even missing. So I bought some actual like concrete. It's like actually concrete. It's like the mortar um, that you mix with water. And I'm gonna try to flatten that out nice and as good as I can, make it look as good as I can, but really just make it flat and smooth so I can squeegee over it. I might do some of these pits. I might do some of the cracks where it's a little bit thicker. And then I might come through here and try to do this little spot too. So <clears throat> this is what I have for the spot over there. Sorry, I can't focus. That spot over there and maybe a little bit of that crack, maybe some of the thicker parts along here. Um, I have this for, so this is just, you just mix water, mix it with water. Um, it sets pretty quick, so after the weekend, this part at least should be dry, even if the sealant isn't. So yeah, I'm going to get to spreading um, this crack, at least this main one here. Try to get this one down today, make it look like that one. Uh, finish the rest of that one out, and then do the big spot over there with like the actual concrete stuff. Alright, so we got... As far as we could, I thought those three tubes would be enough, but really there's a lot to fill here, so. Did this crack all the way up to the wall, all the way down. I did the holes and the spots around the lift. Uh, those were just a little more important. Had to hit this one again. Smeared it around a little bit here, cause it got you know, the concrete got real messed up all the way down. Um, and then this spot turned out pretty good so far. I don't know exactly how it's gonna look and feel and everything when it's done, but 
Um, I did a pretty decent job at laying this stuff, considering I'm not a concrete guy. Uh, it's pretty level. Much more than it was before. And from my experience, this should work. Uh, I've brushed it, I've sponged around the edges, I've tried to get any little rough spots up, and I think it's pretty good. Um, it should be somewhat smooth. Obviously, it's got to dry completely, and then you know you kind of have to brush off the crap that's around it, and you know the color of it will start to blend after a while a little better. But um, you know it's going to stick out a, for a while. It's going to be out of place. It's going to stick out a little bit. Um, this part turned out pretty nice too. I actually ended up patching in this little spot too where the concrete had broken away um, it's not dry yet but I just took it out to the rocks and just tried to make a pretty decent little edge there and it's not bad I'm not a concrete guy like I said but this was all eaten away up to about there so from that spot over was just like rocks pushed in to try to level it out. You know, heat can escape and um, water just pooled there and I went all the way up to it with the sealant. So um, I could be wrong, but I think when you get these floors wet now, a lot less water will sit in these two cracks and all the little lift holes and uh, that big spot over there that was impossible to squeegee out. A lot less water should stay in here and it should be easier to push it out without it um, hanging around. So, And then like I said, in the future, in a perfect world, I'll go over everything, kind of scuff it, etch the floors, sand any little spots down that I want, maybe sand these little lift posts down and um, some of these rough concrete areas try to flatten out a little bit and maybe fill some more stuff and then paint this or epoxy it completely and have it turn out looking good. I think that's going to wrap it up for this video though. I appreciate you guys for watching. Um, the car content will be next video. I know this will be like the second or third video that's been kind of like not really car related, more shop related. but. The car stuff is coming. I have four or five videos backed up that I need to get out, and they're pretty good. So definitely be on the lookout for those. Um, the channel is going to only go up from here. The shop's only going to get better from here, and we're just going to keep working at it. 2022, first full year in the shop. I plan on making it a good one. So yeah, thank you guys for coming along on the journey and for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, drop us a comment below. It all helps me out tremendously, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.